At this care home outside Tokyo, it's time for morning exercise. But today, it's being led by a robot. Palro is just 40 centimeters tall. He can walk, talk, dance and sing, and even tell you tomorrow's weather forecast. The old people here seem to love him. I feel very happy when I talk to him, says this man. I feel a little embarrassed to say it, but he behaves a little like a human. Getting robots to be more like humans is the holy grail for developers. And right now, Erika is the state of the art. She's currently telling me the plot of her favorite film. The thing that's really different about Erika is not that she can just respond to a much larger number of topics. It's the way that she moves. She moves towards you when you speak. Uh, she blinks her eyes. She moves her cheeks and her mouth. It is really quite uncanny how human she looks. Erika's inventor is Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro. Sitting next to his own robot clone, he says his ultimate goal is to blur the line between robot and human. And the human has the two ways for the evolutions. One is a gene, of course. The other is the technologies. By using a technology, we can extend our abilities. Technology is a changing the human definition itself. The technology is a way of evolution. Do we need a robot? Yes, of course. And especially in Japan, you know, the, our, the um, Japanese population is going down. And, uh, but still, you know, we expect to have the uh, uh, same quality of life. Uh, in such case, I think we definitely need to use uh, robot technologies. How about a robot that becomes part of you? At Cyberdyne Systems near Tokyo, they've already taken the first step, a strap-on exoskeleton. OK, so this is an example of how not to pick a heavy object up. And, but with this, it does all the work for you. The effect of the full exoskeleton is even more dramatic. This man has suffered spinal injuries and is learning to walk again. If the, these patients can uh, start to use these devices, the total physical function also improves. Using the robotic legs, the patient is soon walking again. These robotic legs have been shown to work with polio victims and even amputees. The bionic man is no longer science fiction. Sometimes I dream of living forever, to never die, not unless I wanted to. Actually, I dream I could just know everything, to have super intelligence, super strength for that matter, and super speed. All my life, I want to know my family. We haven't seen each other for 70 years. I didn't know I had a twin brother. All the years was lost and I kind of give up hope. In my heart, I always had a feeling that I did have a twin brother. And for 70 years, I left with, I live with unknown things. <laughs> 